anyways. <laughs> um, my name is Alex and welcome to my YouTube channel, I guess. Um, this is a speedrun of um, Lady Four. I don't even know if she's called Lady Four actually. Um, yeah, I think it's just like a dif differentiation of the male Odinson for and the female Jane Foster for. But basically, this is four. Um, and if you didn't know, if you didn't really care, there's no. <laughs> You're gonna care because I'm gonna force you to listen. Um, this is gonna be a new movie in the MCU of um, called Fall Love and Thunder, and basically it's gonna be following Jane Foster. Oh, uh, I mean, oh, this is presumed. I mean, Jane Foster as Fall is gonna be in the movie, so they're pretty sure that it's gonna like stick close to the comic book, and the comic book is actually really good. I've not read it all. But the art is beautiful, and I know that basically it tackles with cancer, and well, Jane basically has cancer, and the original four who we know is called Odinson, and basically he becomes unworthy, and Jane takes up the mantle at the expense of her own well-being. Um, yeah, I don't want to spoil it and I don't really know my facts, so I don't want to get too much into it. But basically I'm really excited because Natalie Portman is playing four and it's going to be really exciting because I, don't, I know there's a lot of controversy about how good her acting is in front of a green screen, but I'm excited. It was a boy who loved Padme um, from the Star Wars franchise. So um, I was having a bit of struggles with the boobs in the character, but yeah, if you don't know, I am into boys, so I don't really, I don't really look at boobies that often, and I was drawing this into a, in a public place, so I didn't want to search boobies, so I was just trying to play around with them as much as possible. Um, but yeah, I think overall the anatomy looks fine. Um, I'm not a professional, however I am trying to pursue the career of art, although I am in school for art, so if you want to commission me, go ahead. Link to my Instagram down below. So now I'm starting to add colour to the drawing. Um, I start with like a skin tone. I realise there's a bit going wrong in the image. Or like there's a bit that needs changing so I decided to flip it. If you didn't know, flipping the canvas is actually a really good way to see where your mistakes are because you've seen it from an unfamiliar direction, like an unfamiliar zoom. Uh, wow, you've seen it from an unfamiliar view um, because basically you've You've been staring at this drawing for however long and basically flipping it can just give you like the eye of like another person if you don't have anyone close. So that's always a good trick. It's always a really good trick to make you cry because 90% of the time in my case it looks like absolute... Yeah. Not great. Not good. Not fresh. But this one actually looked pretty good so... <laughs> Not too to my own harm, but <laughs> prayer. Just yeah, I'm just adding colours. I you're gonna see me colour the armor in a bit. And I'm not a pro, as I've already said. And 
yeah, metal is hard to draw. And I decided not to look for many like references, so that probably is very stupid of me, but I'm lazy. Yeah. I had in Dark Lips and now it doesn't look like Natalie Bowman at all, but you know. I decided to go with blonde hair, although Natalie Bowman is brown haired. I think I do change it to brown as well and have like a variant, but I mean, I don't know why I'm saying I think, I definitely did, but I decided to go with blonde for the start of it. But then again, will they go blonde in the film? Because then it's like very Shira like But who knows? You can have two blondes who like pick up a weapon and turn into this big, like, muscly woman. I'd like to pick up a weapon and become a big, muscly woman. But <laughs> You can't have what you want, <laughs> always. I want, don't get. Yeah, so now you can see I'm shading the armor. I used an airbrush. This is all done in Photoshop, by the way. My boyfriend was telling me that I needed to add the tools into the thing, but if you're anything like me, you are very unprepared and you don't even know where you got half the tools from that you use. I used a stumpy brush and I used Kyle's Kyle Webster's pack of brushes and I use pretty much the basic brushes you can yeah free brushes just go online and find some brushes you'll be fine I mean if you actually do want me to list my brushes I can try but that's a lot of effort that I don't want to do for like if no one's asking so yeah Enjoy whilst- oh, no, never mind. Um, now I'm adding shading with a multiply layer. Basically, um, a lot of people say different stuff. Um, I personally like to add a multiply layer with using like a pink hue. Um, I sometimes go over with like a blue, like if I lock the layer. But I think pink gives it like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why I do it, but it's always looking fine. No one's complaining about that. Everyone's complaining about my usage of big lips, but I don't give a sh about that. But yeah, you basically get like a very light pink, close to flesh tone really, and add it on multiply the layer type. You can do this in like Photoshop, SAI, Manga Studio, whatever you use. I'm pretty sure you can do it in Procreate, but I've never used it, so I wouldn't know. And then I do basically the exact same thing, but with on a new layer with hard light and add the highlights. I barely added any to the armor because I've already added it with like uh, airbrushing tools, so I didn't think it was really necessary. Yeah, that's me for doing that. That's me for doing that correct English. Um, yeah, how are you free people who are probably watching doing on this fine day? Today is the only day that it, it isn't, oh my god. Today is the only day that it isn't raining in England and <laughs> surprise, surprise, I'm inside. But I hope you're all doing well. Um, here I decided to add lightning coming from my eyes because I thought that was more badass. If you don't agree, then you're wrong. But I like it. I also found a nifty way to be able to upload this without my screen moving repetitively because I didn't want to give any of you vertigo. So yeah, I'm proud of that. Oh, I'm doing the background. I spent a lot of time on it. It took me about 10 minutes. <laughs> proud. If you watched my previous video of Catwoman, I actually spent like five hours doing that. So I'm not doing that again for you guys. You guys, there's like no one watching, but anyway. Yeah, I did some effects to the lightning because it looks cool <laughs> no it doesn't <laughs> I don't know why I said that I mean it does does it <laughs> I don't know 
Should the lightning be going behind her arm? Too uh, late. I've already finished the drawing and I'm not going back in time now. Here I'm adding a big strike of lightning behind her. And here we go, this is the finished product. Actually it's not a product because it's not, not a sale, but you know what I mean. And I, oh no, it's not the finished product. <laughs> I still have more to do. I am adding like blue highlights now to just show that the lightning's actually there and not just separate because if you didn't know, to make someone look like they're in the atmosphere that you're drawing them in, you kind of have to relate the lighting to that. And here is the finished product. So I hope you like it. <laughs> Please like it because <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video. I'm sorry for my awkward ass talking, but look at my dog on the screen right now and please follow my Instagram and subscribe.